welcome to the video we're about eight weeks out maybe even seven weeks out to uh, Iron Man Haines City um, I will correct it because it is a 70.3 even though they call it Iron Man Haines City it is a 70.3 we are on a pretty strict and tight training schedule um, I do throw a couple of um, bonus rounds if you will let me grab the training plan real quick all right so like tonight is Friday it's strength we're gonna do 20 minutes it's gonna be a total body uh, 10 push-ups 60 seconds plank uh, 60 seconds times two side planks, 10 push-ups, one minute rest, 10 more push-ups, and then a 60, sec 60 second plank, and then a 30 second times two side planks, and then it's gonna be 10 push-ups. Uh, we're gonna do some monster walks, three by 15 paces in each direction, eccentric calf raises, three by one five nice and slow and then the bonus i'm gonna do a quick 5k probably seven minute pace nice and easy so thanks for following along with my triathlon prep for iron man hain city 70.3 there's a lot more to come so stay tuned all right we gotta log that run real quick 750 pace for three miles under 24 minutes uh, i feel great uh funny story though i'm running a three mile loop the ymca is in the center it's almost exactly three miles i had to run maybe 0.1 past the start line so there's this family going down the sidewalk and i'm thinking okay it's been no COVID for a year and a half, two years, except for the small little variants that, that come up from time to time. And this family of two, husband and wife and kids, are pulling a wagon on the sidewalk. So I went and I was looking for a high five, but I don't think we're to the point where we're giving uh, strangers high fives yet. But it's gonna get close, it's gonna happen. Or they thought I was waving, but no, I wanted a high five and I got turned down. So we're gonna go into the Y here and knock out that uh, workout earlier. Um, I will tell you the training schedule uh, Monday. Let me look at my cheat sheet here. Monday is a one hour on the bike. Um, Tuesday is a 2000 meter swim within 45 minutes. Wednesday is an hour run, and Thursday is a 2400 uh, swim with some technique, and then Friday is strength, and then I'll probably do an open water swim tomorrow in Orlando, uh, but there will be a steady bike for two hours tomorrow, and then an hour and 15 run on Sunday. Now, let's, let's back up to Ironman Chattanooga. So, typically our swim on uh, Tuesday, typically, uh, the bike was an hour on Monday, and then Wednesday would be anywhere from 45 minute to an hour run, and then Thursday was a swim, typically uh, a swim or a six to seven hour bike ride, my choice, and then uh, Friday was strength or uh, just a quick uh, run, no race pace. And then Saturday typically would be a long bike. And then Sunday would be the long run. So basically the same training plan, only difference is the bike. The bike will be anywhere from, I don't know, seven to eight hours a week. And then with this training, it's about 50%. So I would say anywhere from, I would say on a high week, four hours, on a low week, 
three hours roughly. So that's the difference between Ironman and a 70.3. So let's get in here and knock out this uh, gym workout. We'll get some good footage. Cause it's a Friday night and no one's here, trust me. YMCA. We got the 20 minute core workout. Those push ups, uh, planking, uh, weights, uh, light weights. I do got that open water swim in the morning. So you definitely don't want to kill yourself. Uh, so definitely take it easy. Especially if you're doing any kind of uh, cardio using your arms. I would say more so if you're swimming you're gonna have that pull effect and you want to be able to pull I mean especially if you're in the middle of a lake and you can't swim most time folks use a buoy which is on point and that's what you should do so that way you have a safety mechanism attached to you so now we're gonna to head to the house and probably go clean the car up have some fun all right, we are at Lucky's and the lake looks amazing. Little bit of wind out of the north, but other than that, it looks pretty good. We got here just in time. The first swimmers are going in the water. You've already almost got one across, so they are moving this morning. The water temperature's probably in the high 70s, low 80s. But look at this. The sun's coming up. We're the first ones out here. And it's just going to be an amazing event. All right. Check the box. Training is done for the open water swim. I definitely want to get one on the books. It's not in the training, but I do try to sneak one in probably three or four before the race, which is in about seven to eight weeks, roughly without looking at a calendar. Haynes City, Ironman, half 70.3. <sighs> over and back was pretty easy. Over was a little tough. And then getting back, had a little bit of a, a wind. So the current was definitely uh, helping you get back over. Um, but good training for the training schedule. So we'll check the box and keep the training going. All right, Sunday, end of the week. Uh, training's going great. Uh, 70.3 training plan I come up with. Got some G1M Sports. Uh, gonna get some carbohydrates because I got a long run, hour and 15 minutes, probably around eight miles if I was to guess. We're gonna put some trails in it and just make it a little more interesting than just running in the city. We're gonna go out to seven wetlands off of Carter Road and that's gonna be part of the loop that we do. So I will report back in about an hour and 15 minutes, the long run, last day of training for this week. So not as quite as high volume as an Ironman, but the 70.3 will still give you a run for your money. So let's knock this workout out of the park that was a good run i want to thank you for watching this week's video and we will see you in the next one